For over 72 years, the toy shop of Concord has stood a part of the historic framework of downtown Concord. Now it's being uprooted from its location, and owner David Hessel isn't the only one disappointed to see it go. We're the anchor downtown here. The corner lot in the center of a bustling Massachusetts town is deflating its balloons, unwrapping birthday presents, and defluffing its stuffed animals. The toy shop of Concord will close its doors after supporting the community since 1942. It's a keystone part of Concord, you know, and Concord's changing. We need these little stores. It makes shopping here so much fun. The signs from broken-hearted children read, save the toy shop, but the store is not going out of business. We've been forced out of the location. A landlord gave us a bill for $87,000 for charters that are not reasonable nor real. And we have no desire to leave. We had our, one of our best years last year. David Hessel has owned the toy shop since 1988 when he expanded the store double its size. Hessel is now closing up shop after he claims his landlord is forcing him out. I don't want to be in an abusive relationship, and it's abusive. Hessel is not the only small business to receive excessive five-year back charges by this landlord of just one year. Some of these charges for what is called common area maintenance, tenants believed was already included in rent. It adds up to the 87,000. Despite petitions, letters, GoFundMe pages, and posters, landlord Frank Foley of Acton refuses to settle. He has even withheld disclosing next year's rent to his tenants until they pay their bill. Foley told the Boston Globe, quote, he doesn't want to pay increases to legitimate expenses. If you don't want to row the boat, that's fine, but there is a long line of people that do. But what Foley sees as just a rowboat, most others see as a beacon guiding residents home and giving visitors a taste of the quaint town. And it's important to me to be in town and be in this community that I love and have grown up in and see the same faces. Seven-year manager of the toy shop, Elizabeth Mulhall, sees the store thrive daily, even with online shopping dominating much of the market. We have really loyal customers, um, and we have people coming from multiple towns. This type of store is hard to find nowadays because of Amazon, because of Target. We're really lucky we have something like this in town. Families infatuated with the store's iconic red and white striped paper and plethora of toys for all ages are now coming to terms with saying goodbye. Well, I'm a Concord native, so this has been here my whole life. So it's really sad. I love the toys they sell here, and I feel really terrible about it. And it's my favorite toy shop. They have unusual gifts that you can't find in the big chain gift stores. They're personal, they can help you, they have great suggestions. And they're always so kind and friendly. The next step, moving to a new location where they look forward to a fresh start. Moving now much feels much more like we can, we can go anywhere in Concord because we have this loyal following of people who have attached themselves to what we stand for. And that's been most gratifying. Now the owner just updated me on the new location of the toy shop, which will be 89 Thoreau Street across from the Concord Depot. So it looks like it won't be goodbye, just see you later. In Concord, Massachusetts, I'm Christina Ernie.